Hi, Melanie. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, doing very well. Yes, good. Did you have a good weekend? Yep, it was pretty good. I was able to get out and um, uh, do a hike outside with my family um, before the rain came on Sunday. So that was very refreshing and rejuvenating. Yeah, no kidding. How about you? Well, this weekend I actually went to a, a restaurant for the first time. Yeah. It was a, an interesting experience. Um, not normal or what I'm used to, but yeah. it was nice to have um, a taste of normal life. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. We're getting little snippets of that, aren't we? Yeah. It's, it's coming back slowly but surely. Yes. Absolutely. Good. I'm glad you were able to get out and mingle with a few people. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, today, what are we talking about? Well, today I was going to uh, talk a little bit about intention. And one of my questions for you to start off with is how have you been waking up in the mornings? Um, lots of times, most mornings I wake up and I feel like it's Groundhog Day. Um, actually just the other day I woke up and I had had a, I want to call it a nightmare, but I had dreamt that we were in our second wave of COVID and that there was a shortage of toilet paper. And, um, in my dream, I went to store after store after store and there was no toilet paper on the shelves. And when I woke up, I had a feeling of panic um thinking oh my gosh where am i gonna go and buy yeah we're today and just just a heaviness of having to go look for toilet paper to stock up again because the second wave was coming so wow yikes and you know i don't know about everybody else but that's how covid19 started for me too it was when the toilet paper was no longer on the shelves that i started mm -hmm. to think really seriously about this yeah. And so if I had had a, a nightmare like that, I would have began my morning feeling like, oh, here we go again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It wasn't a, a good feeling that morning. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not a morning person. I'm never going to pretend to be a morning person. And so um, I don't pay a lot of attention to what I think about the first thing, first moment that I open my eyes. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that most mornings, the first thing I think about when I open my eyes is, oh, I didn't get enough sleep. I'm yeah. so tired. This is going to be a rough day. I'm going to be barely dragging my butt through this day. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's without COVID-19. <laughs> so with the coronavirus, I know that I've woken up a few mornings thinking, oh, okay, today's a work day. And then I stop and realize, but not a regular work day. Yeah, yeah. So today I'm staying home. <laughs> Yes. Again. Yeah. Today I'm doing the at home thing again. Today yeah. I'm again looking at going to stores with a mask on and then having to come home and completely sanitize afterwards, mm -hmm. which can feel for me really defeating. It can feel um, difficult before it even starts. Yeah. And so what I thought I could, we could talk about today is what if, Melissa, <clears throat> What if we were able <clears throat> to really focus in on our thoughts first thing in the morning, as soon as we wake up, before we even open our eyes, mm -hmm. and focus on intention, meaning a positive, uplifting thought to start our day with? Mm -hmm. So even if the first thing that comes to mind is, oh man, I didn't have enough sleep, what if we were to quickly change that into, well, I got, a, I got a night's sleep and this is going to be a good day because I've got energy and I've got strength to keep myself going. Right. Yeah. Just flipping that first thought into a positive one. That's right. Yes, exactly. Um, you know, even when you wake up with a nightmare, feeling like, oh gosh, here we go again. I'm back into the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic yeah. or for some folks, I had this nightmare that made me feel like I was back in an abusive situation or a traumatic event, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and what about the first thing instead of, you know, playing that through over and over and over again, as our brains often do, yeah. what if we were to just stop and say that here I am, 
the sun is shining. I'm in my, my house. My house is safe. Yeah. You know, I, I can, here's my cat coming up to my bed and purring because my cat is safe and loves me, mm -hmm. you know, just intentionally bringing those positive thoughts into our brain to help us carry through and have a better day as a result. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I came across an article on the internet called a Zen master's tips for staying sane in challenging times. Mm -hmm. And the email, or the, sorry, the article was based off of, oh, I can never say his name, Fitch Nit Nat Han. Yes. He's a monk and his key teachings. One of the things that Fitch Nat Han has said to us or said to his um, followers is, suggesting that we guard the morning and start it gently with a smile. And to make the a vow or the promise to live every hour of the day deeply and with compassion. So what if first thing in the morning, if we were having these negative thoughts and, and um, possible fears about what, our, what the day ahead could bring us, yeah. what if we were to simply just turn our, turn our mouths into a half smile? You know, just turning up the edges of our lips. Yeah. And seeing how that might make a difference to mm -hmm. our morning and then to the rest of our day. Right. You know, Marsha Linehan also talks about half smiling. She's the founder of dialectical behavior therapy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we have modeled our emotion commotion workshops on. Right. And she says that half smiling in particularly while you're facing or thinking about a challenging experience mm -hmm. or a challenging person will help you to better accept that experience or that person and then diffuse any negative feelings that you might be having. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a very powerful strategy. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of um, the mindfulness that we did of um, the connection mindfulness of yeah. just building that connection um, and so yeah having that half smile when you're thinking about a challenging um, person or situation um, I could really see that easing tension or bringing some peace to that situation that's really nice yes yeah and that's actually the kind of mindfulness I'd like to try with everybody today okay yeah? You want to give it a try? Yes. <laughs> okay, so in this mindfulness, I'm going to get people to practice not smiling, so a neutral um, facial expression. Okay. Then I'm going to get people to practice having a negative facial expression, like frowning or, or feeling like a, a facial expression of being sad. Okay. And then I'm going to purposely and intentionally get people to then focus in on half smiling and see if anything shifts for them in their mind or in their body. Okay. All right. All right. So let's get started. As always, getting into a comfortable position in our chair or laying down, whatever works for people. Okay. Always good to ground your feet against something, whether it's the ground or the side of the bed or a pillow, just to feel like you are in um, connection with the ground and here in this present moment. Okay. And then closing your eyes if you wish, or keeping them open and lightly um, and gently focused on something just ahead of you, something that won't move while we're doing this um, mindfulness, whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. And then of course, as always, just focusing your attention on your breath as that anchor to the present, grounding your attention by focusing in on the breath that is already being breathed inside of your body. So noticing how the breath comes in through your nostrils, down through your throat, and into your belly. You may even put your hands on your belly to notice how the belly lifts up ever so slightly as you breathe in, forming like a little balloon underneath your hands. And then noticing how on the out breath, the belly flattens ever so slightly. The breath moves up through your throat and out through your nostrils or your mouth. And just gently noticing the breath, not needing to change it in any way. So accepting it as it is, as it is in with, within you, without judgment, moment to moment, in and out.
in and out. Now at any time during this meditation, if you start to notice that there are thoughts or emotions like this is boring or boy, I got something I got to get to, planning your day, whatever it is, just gently acknowledge those thoughts. You may even thank your brain for bringing them to your attention. And then gradually and gently move away from those thoughts and back to the breath as the focus of your attention. Now at this moment, I'm gonna ask you to focus in on your facial expression. Make a neutral facial expression. So your eyes soft, your cheeks relaxed, and your mouth soft, closed or open. It's neither smiling nor frowning. And just pay attention to what comes up for you with this neutral expression. Are there any feelings, sensations, or thoughts that come up for you? How does it feel? Relaxed or tense? Soft or hard? Just noticing how you feel with that relaxed facial features. And breathing in and out. Then I want to encourage you or invite you to make a negative facial expression. You may turn your lips downwards into a frown or purse your lips into a tense movement. You may squint your eyes or furl the brows, tense the cheeks and the jaw, whatever that is for you, just making a negative facial expression. And notice what emotions come up for you now, what thoughts, any images that come to mind or experiences. Notice if anything changes. Does your breathing change or not? Does the feeling of your body change or not? Whatever comes up for you, accept it as it is, knowing that it is a part of you and that it is here and that's okay. Notice if this negative facial expression feels familiar or strange? Does it feel comforting? Or does it feel a little disconcerting? Again, whatever comes up for you is your experience. It's totally okay. Stay with that for a few moments, just exploring what it shifts, if anything, inside of you. And then I'm going to encourage you to soften your facial features again. Soften those eyes, the furrow between your brows, the cheeks, the jawbone, and move your facial features into a half smile. Slowly, little by little, just turning the edges of your lips slightly upwards into a little bit of a smile. Noticing how as you move your mouth into a half smile, is there anything else that shifts within your facial features? What happens to your cheeks, to your jaw, to your eyes? to the part in between your brows. Keep your lips turned upwards in a slight smile. And pay attention to any shifts, not only in your facial features, but in your emotions, your sensations, and your thoughts.
You may even want to try this. As you're half smiling, you may want to recall a negative experience or a person that you have trouble with. Maybe it was something that you envisioned while we were focusing on the negative facial exp um, expression. Try to recall that. And as you regard that image or that experience or that memory with a half smile, does anything happen to it? Does it change at all? If not, that's okay. Again, this is your experience and whatever's happening for you is what needs to happen for you. It's, a, it's part of you and it's your experience and that's okay. But if anything shifts, note that. Pay attention to it. It might have something to teach you. And just stay with the half smiling for a few more moments. As you breathe in and out. In and out. And then returning to that neutral facial expression as we work towards the end of this mindfulness practice. Relaxing all of your facial features. In fact, relaxing your whole body from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Focusing on a few more breaths in and out. In and out. And then gradually taking in more of the sounds of your surroundings. You may even move in a way that feels comfortable. And then whenever you're ready, opening your eyes and returning to this conversation. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Melissa. How was that for you? It was good. When I um, was making the, the negative face, that mm -hmm. didn't feel natural to me. That felt uncomfortable. It felt like, oh, I just want this part to be over. Um, yeah. And then like the neutral face and the half smile, I didn't feel that same sense of like oh. naturalness. So I think that is a new awareness for me. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because we can actually force a feeling. Mm -hmm. So I've had lots of clients say, well, I, I don't feel happy and doing that feels fake to me because I don't feel happy. Yeah. But the reverse is true. If you force yourself to do, you know, the actions, the physical actions of being happy, yeah. you can actually bring the feeling on. Yeah. It's almost like the fake it till you make it. Yes, it is. Totally. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for participating with me. Yes. So um, next week for the video series, next week is going to look a little bit different. So yes, it is. We actually have um, some news to share that I will be leaving Cass and taking on a new position. And um, yes, yeah, so these videos will still be here to offer support and the series will continue, but it will be with Melanie and somebody else for um, next week. Yes, and I'm gonna miss you so much, Melissa. Mm -hmm. I have so appreciated that this mindfulness series was your idea. Wow. And you have um, just facilitated it and made sure that it happened. And you've been so committed to it all these weeks, uh, eight weeks has it been, I eight. think, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so two whole months. And just, you know, facilitating with you has been one of my greatest joys of the week. And I feel like I've gotten to know you a little bit better. And just as I'm feeling that, I'm so sad to be saying goodbye. I know it's lots of mixed emotions. Um, yeah happy i'm excited um but saying goodbye to so many wonderful people is it weighs on your heart yes it does yeah it mm -hmm. does 
but we will remember you in spirit and we all hope to cross your paths once again. I mean, Calgary yeah. is not that big. So hopefully yeah. we'll see you once again um, and be able to work with you again in some sort of way. Yes. So thank you everybody for welcoming me into your homes and your screens. And thank you so much, Melanie. Yeah, thank you. And next week we're going to talk about self-care which all of us might need a little bit knowing that yes. you're not going to be in our video series. Next yes. Week. Well, I'll still be following along. So I look forward to that. Good. All okay. right. Well, thanks again thank for all you. that you do. Okay. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. See you guys next Monday.